that because we are Jews, uh, with the help of the Almighty, we oppose entirely the, the, the occupation of Palestine. It's not a, a Jewish state. It's not permitted according to the Jewish religion. Judaism uh, is a religion subservience to God. Zionism and the state of Israel is a nationalism. And it's clearly spelled out in the Torah that Jews, since the destruction of the temple, we are not permitted to have our own sovereignty, our own state, till when God will reveal his glory throughout the world, where all humanity will serve him in harmony. So making a state is totally forbidden for Jews and was not attempted for 2,000 years uh, since the destruction of the temple, and certainly to make a state by stealing and pressing the people, the Palestinian people, and taking the land. And what type of people? Uh, the Muslim countries and the in, in Palestine included Jews were uh, enjoyed the hospitality and the home and friendship of the Muslim and Arab communities. And now to take their home away and say they hate Jews and that's why we have a religious conflict between Jews and Muslims, this is just a terrible, despicable Nakba tragedy and a, a falsification of the truth. No, it's not a religious conflict. As Jews, we lived in peace with the Muslims and Arabs. We loved them, they loved us, they, gave, they helped us, we lived as brothers and sisters. The, the uh, sole issue, what caused this rift, this, this turmoil and all the suffering and bloodshed is the, uh, the creation of this Zionist ideology, of this new nationalism, Erzak's Judaism, a new Judaism, to come and take a piece of land when it's forbidden for us, ignoring the words of all our Torah sages. We have books put out, the rabbis speak out and on our site, NKUSA. We put out a bunch to show the truth, how all the rabbinical authorities, one by one or universally, in, and in Palestine, pleaded with the world. This is not, they, our name is hijacked. Our identity, the Star of David, hijacked by people who are doing evil. It's a, not our Judaism, it's Zionism. And I can show you just one, one word. The chief rabbi of Palestine in 1947 pleaded with the United Nations. And he said, and this is in, in, um, in, in, in 1947, in July, 16, 1947, and you have the pictures, and it's in the United Nations uh, uh, records. We furthermore wish to express our definite opposition to a Jewish state in any part of Palestine. So that is our message. It's there's Judaism, subservience to God, praying for a free Palestine, and, the, and crying for the suffering of the Palestinians, and there's Zionism that is going with the head in the wall and creating bloodshed and suffering. So why that uh, some people that say is more or less the same things that you say now is called an anti-Semite. <laughs> that is how ironic it is, because if you would go to, invariably to every, com around the world, in our Quds Jerusalem, I'm from New York, if you go right across from Manhattan, the largest Jewish communities, the concentra largest concentration of Jews, you'll see we have tens of thousands of Jews demonstrating. This is in the cities of, of, in, of Jerusalem, Al Quds, when they took up the new chief rabbi, not of the Zionist rabbinate, their false rabbinate, but of our rabbinate. Of, you see tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands going out and demonstrating. You can see this happening in, in New York all the time and from our communities going out um, right across from Manhattan and our, from our large community in Williamsburg with there's not one Israeli flag in this whole large community. And we go out to Manhattan from around New York and around the world demonstrating. We have these demonstrations of, of literally tens of thousands. This is in front of, the United, in front of the Israeli embassy. And then we go in front of the United Nations. Here is in front of, when we go in, in front of um, the, the White House. Uh, to, when Netanyahu went to President, uh, visit President Obama, you can see these demonstrations. But our voices are squelched, are stifled. People don't speak about the truth, and they think that more Jewish you are, the more religious, the more Zionist you are, when there's nothing further than the truth. We, we cry, we suffer, we demonstrate. There will be hundreds of thousands more demonstrating. But unfortunately, when we demonstrate in Palestine, the Jews get brutally beaten all the time. You can see, with guns, we don't have guns. We just speak out, step out and speak up and say, God does not accept the state. And, and yet, when, when, and when, when the Jews get demonstrate, demonstrate every time, they get arrested, 
sometimes assassinated and brutally beaten by the Zionists. Rabbi, you, you have the opportunity of being here with the Jew community. What do they say about this uh, the opposition between Zionism and anti-Semites? Well, the truly religious Jewish community here is my brethren. We are, we are one community. Uh, I enjoyed, I spent here the weekend, the Sabbath, with the Jewish community here. They are one and the same as all of us. They even, um, uh, they dress religiously and they are most strongly anti-Zionist, just as I am, the same, we are the same communities. Unfortunately, here, and people are afraid because of the intimidation, the viciousness of the Zionists, as I've shown you, um, uh, the attacks, the vicious attacks, uh, so they, they, the voice is not heard as much as, but when you come to the center with the large insulated Jewish communities like in Al-Quds, Jerusalem, um, or in uh, New York, we have our large demonstrations. And when these, these people, the, the Jewish people from Argentina come studying in New York, which they, they, almost every one of them does, uh, they come to demonstrations. Here, unfortunately, they're quiet, but they, they, they share our view, uh, they embraced us, we are brethren, and we will always, with God's help, uh, pray to God for the total and speedy and peaceful dismantlement of the state and, um, and the free Palestine. We, we will always uh, suffer and feel and cry with the people of Palestine and their suffering. But why is so this uh, Argentinian Jew community is afraid to speak out in this sense? I mean, it's quite well known years ago uh, um, in, in the, that the Jewish people uh, were assassinated here in Argentina also, who were anti-Zionists, who, um, um, uh, who, um, who spoke up whenever the Zionists feel they, that it's uh, necessary to, to remove somebody, they do. And um, they, I brought a rabbi with me, actually, eight years ago. His name was Rabbi Cohen from Manchester, he have long and healthy years. A distinguished, he was a dean of the school, a distinguished rabbi. Um, you, and he, here you see, this is what they've done to him. This is a synagogue in, 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 um, in the center of London, how they desecrated the synagogue because we are anti-Zionists. This is his car, Rabbi Cohen's car. And we have many, many pictures. Here's Rabbi Cohen. He spoke here in Argentina. He came with me, we both traveled around in Argentina. And his, his bullets were shot in his house. He, he's, he's constantly harassed. And this is what happens to the ones, distinguished scholars, peaceful people, who are simply trying to give the message of God. And people see this, and they're fearful of being outspoken. But God help, God should, will change this world because God is almighty and good and compassionate. And one day, as he wrote in the Torah, why are you rebelling against me? It will not be successful. We see this 68 years of the Zionist state, 10 years doesn't pass by in, in, their, in a peaceful occupation. So God will help one day, and we, we hope and yearn and pray that it should happen peacefully and speedily, this total removal of the impediment to peace of the cause of anti-Semitism. Because Zionism is the, contrary to what they say, they are the root cause of all the anti-Semitism and the hate and, and the, the bloodshed of not only Palestinian people, of Jews. We are not condoning violence. It hurts us. But we're saying, if any logic will say, their creation of the state has caused that these that the Muslim people who were living in tranquility and peace with the Jewish people in harmony, and all of a sudden there is this mistrust and, and, and uh, accusations, it's because, not of the religion, it's because of their political movement, their new Judaism, their nationalism that was never in Jewish history for 2,000 and 3,000 years. It's a new movement, 100 odd years only. So one day, uh, we hope to God that it will, uh, will end speedily and peacefully. In the meantime, the endless river of bloodshed is, is um, we throw the blame purely on the creation of the state and its continuous existence. And again, we reiterate, we don't condone violence, but an action brings a reaction. Many of the Arab and Muslim leaders, and we went to, uh, we had the honor and pleasure of going to, um, uh, to Gaza, we went. We were non-political. We met with the. We met with President Abbas, and we're good with every Arab and Muslim leader that we, we could possibly meet. And when we went to meet with them, they each one embraced us. 
and and this, uh, we went. We brought medical aid to Gaza. We brought. Um, uh, we sent the ambulance and so forth. And we were embraced. They said we have nothing against Jews. Have you been with Hezbollah in the south of Lebanon? We as were. Well? In, we were in Lebanon also. Yes, we did go to Lebanon. This is a meeting with the president of Lebanon. Hezbollah is part of the uh, government, as you know. And um, and and they um, they uh, they were our actually um, uh, uh, hosts. They made a big reception. And again, they 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 stated unambiguously clearly. They took us to visit the Jewish synagogues, the Jewish areas, and, and they said, we have nothing against Jews. We live together in peace in Lebanon. We, 40 human rights groups was, was there. It was not necessary for human rights groups. And they said, here, we, we lived in peace. We can live in peace, and we want to live in peace. We need, that is what our message, we're here to tell the world, don't be fooled by the Zionist propaganda. It's not a religious conflict. It's a flawed political movement that started just basic, uh, relatively recently. Our Religion is 3,000 years. Zionism is 100 odd years. It's like a piece of sand in an eye. Remove the impediment to peace, and we can live in peace. We went to Iran, and of course, everybody vilifies the leaders of Iran that they're uh, anti Semitic. And we went again, we're non political. We met with President Khatami, we met with President Ahmadinejad, we met, um, 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 we, now we just recently with uh, Zarif, the, the, prime, uh, the foreign minister, we just met with him. We, we are constantly. Um, we met with the Ayatollahs, my predecessors met with Ayatollah Khomeini, we met with uh, Ayatollah Khamenei, and each one, each one, uh, Ayatollah Khomeini had signs, and we have the signs that said that we are not, we do not have anything, we do not um, have anything against the Jewish religion and so forth, signs like that, big signs there. They have Jewish synagogues in Iran that, uh, that have open, openly Jewish with signs outside that it's a synagogue with the Hanunis, people Eastman even standing outside there. And people live there. We went to visit, we went every day to the synagogue there. And so the, the Zionist, uh, their uh, PR, their public relations campaigns and their, their, their uh, falsification of what the facts are creates this endless uh, quagmire and suffering and we urge the world to help us peacefully remove this flawed and really selfish and uh, evil political movement called Zionism. So as Jews, we can serve and can we show our respect and gratitude to the Muslim and Palestinian people for the home and friendship, and that we can embrace and live together in peace as we've had for hundreds of years. Thank you. You're welcome.